Hello, in this video I will talk about hardware generated random numbers. We know that random numbers are very important for cryptography or gambling, such things, and I'm very interested in how to generate them using hardware because as we know, if we use software, they are not really random. They are a long series that repeat again and again, so they could be predictable. What we will do here is to use the sampling of one clock by another clock. And because there is some drift between the two clocks, we will get that the numbers of the sampling of one clock uh, from the other uh, appear to be random, they are not predictable. We implement this in an Arduino project. It's this thing here with a attached LCD screen to display the results. So the Arduino has two clocks. One is the clock that governs the CPU. It's a crystal resonator, a quartz resonator with a high frequency. And then there is another clock, which is an RC resonator, which is much less accurate and with lower frequency, which is in the board. And this second uh, clock is used for the watchdog. Watchdog is some procedure that allows us to restart the Arduino in case uh, there is some bug in the code and it gets in an infinite loop. So now we will look at the software. This is the Arduino INE interface, and I uploaded uh, this code that we can find in GitHub, by, made by the user Endolith. This user made a good explanation of how it works, and he presented two versions of the code. In one of them, this one called probably random, he just extracts a sample of one clock by the other and presents it uh, as a random number. And in another one, he will use some probabilistic uh, procedures to make sure that the bits we extract are really random. For this video, I just implemented the, the sampling one, so I do no further um, processing of these bits. And I will show here at the end of the script, this is all about the watchdog, in which we set 20 millisecond watchdog. And in this line, sample equal TCNT1L, this is where we sample the clock of the CPU. And this variable are the last 8 bits of the time. If we look here, we see that the time of the CPU has 16 bits. We dismiss the higher bits, so we take the second line, which is this variable. And that's what we are showing in the little LCD screen as a binary number, ones and zeros which is changing more or less every one second. I slowed down the process to be able to look at this output. So there is a delay of one second, which now I will erase. And I upload the code again to the Arduino. So now we will see the screen goes blank for some moments, and then it will restart and start generating random bits again. So we see now we're generating like crazy, it's 7.5 bytes per second of uh, random data. So this is the project I wanted to show you. And I have some questions about this, which I didn't solve yet. I hope to solve them and make a second video. And you can also help me in the comments below. My question is, the randomness comes from the drift between the two clocks, which is unpredictable due to the CPU load, temperature and all other ambiental effects or it's m something more related to quantum uh, effects at this uh, very precise time scale. Okay, I hope you collaborate and help me to solve this problem. See you, bye.